Hello there, and welcome back to the Ottoman. So last time I decided I would do a little bit of testing to see if I will how much aggressive expansion I get rid of. The current collision it well, a little bit scary. Mostly due to Denmark. 49 they have, uh, 75, 62, 126, 118, so there are some people that hate my guts. Well, they have a good reason for that though, so I guess I can understand that. Uh, what I think we're going to do here. Pardon is Austrian, which is kind of a troublesome scenario. I think we'll actually do is end up in a war with Switzerland once we're done with Venice. And we're actually going to take Breisgau and uh, just connect Baden. And also it gives me more choices when it comes to what, uh, what I want to take to actually connect the northern and southern part of the map. But first of all, let's just go ahead here. I want to actually go on to Venice itself. There's no reason for that. I can force some release Byzantium, but I think we'll do that later. And then we'll also go ahead and vassalize Byzantium, probably short afterwards, but uh, that is perfectly fine. Uh, as I said, we're going to offer a tribute, and we're going to clear the offer first and foremost, and we're going to release, I think, we're going to try and get the coast here first and foremost, Epirus. Uh, see whom else is in the area. No one? I kind of want to release places too that are easily accessible per se, so what we're going to do then I think is Burgundy. I could lose it but it's cool and potentially then I'll just have to declare Core 1 France. It should be perfectly fine. Potentially I might even go ahead and vassalize uh, Burgundy if they turn out to be an aggressive ruler, which also would be kind of interesting potentially. I think I also can afford to release Galicia here, so we're going to release 4 nations. Four nations before would be 120 aggressive expansion gone. So I'm going to, I think, yeah, we'll take Northumberland to just to take a little bit of test here. So as you can see, Venice will pay 125 diplomatic power. And I'm going to release, well, two nations here, one here, one here, and one here. It will be a little bit difficult to take, get them back. Most likely, the problem here will be uh, Burgundy. Potentially, Northumberland can get some allies, but I don't know. And also I'll be to some extent testing here if proximity means basically well let's just first do this. In theory here I should get 150 aggressive expansion that dealt with me. It means that I shouldn't have any collisions afterwards. At least that's what these on how the system worked before, if I'm not completely uh, mad here. So let's just get done here. Venice accepted our generous peace offer. Good. And with that, I'll release some nations here, which Probably could make things a little bit interesting in the long run. We're going to send these guys back to Sevilla, and I think I should also add a couple more ships to this one. Probably. And other than that, not really much to so sell. We'll hunt down the Mamluk army here. Should probably destroy that, but that was an interesting point here. What would be interesting to see was did I lose any. Yeah, I did lose 30 aggressive expansion. So it's no longer a reasonable way to lose aggressive expansion here. I guess the proximity part is actually you have to be close to these things. So what I would have to release is probably Mainz, Ansbach, uh, Urs, provinces like that to actually have it have any effect per se. But uh, I don't really know. If this is how the system works right now, there's no reliable way to get rid of aggressive expansion. But, well, I still don't get how this works. I lost about the same amount with Denmark as it did with Bavaria. So it's far less right now, which is horrible. Yeah, collisions are definitely going to be a problem again in this patch. I'll probably not be playing any big games where I have to do a lot of uh, conquest. It doesn't seem like it's a viable option per se. Because of the fact you can't take only so much from collision. Let's face it, I can fight the Mamluks here. Who are their size? They're not even close to the size of the collision. But I can get more out of it. I can get all more out of it, which is hilarious on every single level. But, I guess this is simply how it has to be. We're going to go for Reconquest here, and the hilarious fact is, I'm pretty sure... No, wait a minute, did I lose my course? I actually do. Well, that sucks even more. Apparently, I lose my course by doing this. But, on the plus side, I have released some... Huh. <laughs> well, that is the biggest mistake I've ever made. It's a subject. Wait. What? I'm confused. So some of these actually did just get 
simple release. But no, Thumblin for some weird inexplicable reason become a... What? Yeah, this is not a viable solution. This is the biggest mistake I made in this game. Apparently now, when you actually release stages like this, you lose cores on everything. You probably have to have them forced if you don't want to lose cores. I have no idea. But I offered, I lose, lost my cores. I probably knew that, but I haven't met the problem in a while, and then I forgot about it. So I lost five cores here, which is horrible. Second of all, I can't use Reconquest. I have to claim them, which is even more awful, because, as you might imagine... That is going to be, well, some extra aggressive expansion. So all in all, I get a net time and aggressive expansion loss here. I should not have done that. Not at all. Hilarious mistake. So what we're going to do is fight... Uh, we're going to fight these guys. And I think we're going to, well, continue the war. Or continue the way that we've been doing so far. Uh, some people are leaving the coalition, luckily enough. But even so, it doesn't really matter at this stage. What I really have to do is just go full on uh, brutal mode on Europe and take everything they own. I think that is the only way I really can do anything from now on, uh, reliably. So we're going to fight the Mamluks here, try and take the land, and uh, we'll see how this plays out. Probably also start the annexation of the vassals afterwards, and we'll also go after the ones that we just released as soon as uh, the truces run out. We'll see how it turns out. So, the war with the Mamluks is basically over. That all that really remains here, I guess, is sieges, which is uh, fairly alright. The other problem is more or less that, well, people hate my guts, and I can, to some extent, understand them. But even so, uh, once again, I think the game is, at this current stage, with the coalitions and aggressive expansion, it's unfair, because it's fair enough that they want to make it a little bit more... Uh, uncertain with you don't really know your limits or what you can go for but they've set up the limits a little bit too harsh here Europe itself it's a minefield because I have no idea what actually applies to cost here I could what Holland was a it's an eight tax province that cost 66 percent war score in a coalition war with Europe itself or most of them they they're bigger than Ma Mamluks let's face it they're far bigger than the Mamluks but I guess the Mamluks here I can take Damascus eight 13, 16, 22, 26% of war, of tax, along with giving up 8 core here for 24%, and still be fine. That is the hilarious fact here. I have no idea what actually... I wouldn't like if I could just hover over the war score and tell me what applies to it, because as you can see here, Damascus, 8 base tax, 18% war score. It doesn't really make sense. It doesn't make sense at all to me. Why something is supposedly worth so much more. Is it because it's Catholic? Is it because it's European? What is it? There's a lot of things here that simply doesn't to some extent make sense. And I would like more data, really. So that's my rant for today. My apologies. I'll fight the war against the Mamluks. And then I'll have to decide what I want to do with uh, Europe. Uh, as of now, I'm kind of in hesitant. I think we'll just go ahead and reconquer the one promise minus. We're going to get a ton of aggressive expansion. I guess we'll have to just live with the fact that Europe will be a minefield with coalitions in time to come. And I think I'll have to try and support Auvergne a little bit more by, let's say, declare war of France right now. That could potentially be a way to, well, solve some problems, but I don't know really. I, I don't know what to or how to solve this. We'll have to wait and see. The aggressive expansion will sooner or later slow me down to the point where I'll have to most likely, rather than looking to Europe, look to uh, Asia instead. And that is, uh, that is going to be a little bit awkward. But uh, we have already begun that part. We'll probably go after Persia, Armenia, Knight, everyone here. So we'll have to see how this plays out. But for now, not really too much we can do. So, I can take a idea here. And we're going with uh, Rumonjering, which allows me to sabotage reputation. So potentially I could take revenge on Denmark. We won't have her. I don't think I'll take anything I need scoring either. So that is kind of my reason why I'm taking it. Getting the efficient spies will be useful uh, later on. Covert action relation impact, minus 33%. That could potentially be very good, especially when it comes to fabricating claims. That is big source for aggressive expansion, really. And I guess we'll just ignore the uh, we'll ignore fabricating claims now, because, well, the aggressive expansion is going to be the bigger problem here, not my, uh, not my uh, administrative points, per se. And also, I still haven't actually found a single good explanation to why not Tumbleland automatically became a vassal of mine. It makes no sense. The deal was release. Might be that I didn't read to it. 
be through it. I might have to check the recording to see what actually happened, but heck, it doesn't make sense. That's still the only thing that I have been able to drag out of this. It doesn't make sense in the slightest. But nothing I really can do with that. We'll just continue and uh, we'll end this war rather quickly, I think. We'll see how it turns out. So, the Mammoths are ready to give up here. Syria will go back to its former glory, per se. And with that, we're also getting closer to getting the Levant. I'll pay 90 uh, diplomatic points. Which is uh, perfectly fine, to be honest. It's not actually a bother at all. So, there we go. Syria is completed, and I failed my mission, apparently. I could conquer southern Greece, create a fortress in Westphalen, or form alliance with Morocco. We're just going to conquer southern Greece here again. I guess, and we're also going to start the annexation processes with, well, everyone here, except Northumberland. They are the ones that we're going to ignore in this uh, certain, uh, or in this circumstance. And we're also going to, I think, as I said, annex everyone. Shouldn't be a problem, we do have the relations needed. I think we also have taken everything we can take from them, so it's not a problem. We'll start with Austria, I think, here. And yes, we'll go ahead and annex everyone. Still a bit surprised that I could and vassalize Wolf when I could, but who cares? So influence an X. And we're going to, as I said, do the same with everyone. So it's not actually anything to fuss about. And that means there'll be some years here of uh, to some extent peace. Uh I guess you could call it peace, but it won't really be peace, I believe. Who is my last vassal here? I'm actually forgotten. Still all through Naples, Syria. Syria. There we have them, the ones that currently got maximized. So, February uh, 43, I believe, is the date. Yep, February 43. Then we are done with the annexation and can worry about other stuff. We're going to have to ship this army home, apparently, since I had it in one of my provinces, which is, I guess, fine. And other than that, we'll be trying to get that extra diplomat uh, before the time ends. We'll probably also start going after one promise minus as soon as we're done here. I'll also, I think, uh, not be doing too much else. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go, but for now, it's not really too much else I can do. I'll simply have to annex the vassal sooner or later, and this is probably the best way. I'll also check how much aggressive expansion the annexation of these vassals actually give me. I'm pretty sure Austria will give me quite a fair bit, to be perfectly honest, so it'll be interesting to see how that works out. I'm going to... Yes, go Alicante. And we'll also get actually a uh, not diplomat here. We're going to hand uh, this thing over to Averne. They did lose their course as I well kind of expected. But uh, I'm a little bit unsure how I actually want to deal with this. Burgundy has a militarist. Uh, they are a militarist republic. So I might as well go for peaceful vassalization of them because potentially I can feed them France. Potentially. I can always try to feed them France. So we're going to aim at that. Military attack, 27, the bayonet, infantry fire plus 0 0.5, and I can now use royal mortars, which basically means that I have better cannons. There's only one upgrade left before we're done with that. So, I'm going to allow time to pass, and we'll see how the, uh, how things end up once we're done. I guess we'll celebrate it for three days and invite everyone. Everyone loves me. But yeah, we are going to just wait here and allow the vassals to be next. Sicily is definitely our next target. I can probably get a claim on them as soon as we are... Done with the Vassal Annex, so I guess Syria to uh, uh, Northumberland. Potentially Burgundy here is going to be my next Vassal set, uh, along with Auvergne. I'm going to Vassalize Auvergne, and hopefully they might get a Militarist Ruler, I don't know. We'll simply have to wait and see. For now, I don't know how I'm going to finish this game, especially with the aggressive expansion and the way that the coalitions currently work. Fair enough, they are, they are supposed to slow the play down, but the way that they slow the play down is so artificially created that it's sad, really. I know it's, if I can beat them as horrible as I did, forcing me to just take one or two provinces for virtually a decade or three of war is, it's just rude. I have no better way of describing it, it's just rude. So, that's my two cents again. I guess I should really start uh, <laughs> complaining to, higher, to the higher power, so to speak. But, we'll continue this, and for now... We'll have to we'll probably use next episode to just wait for the annexations to finish. We'll probably also get that extra diplomat then. So I guess I could start with uh, the Clarion War on the Miners. Shouldn't actually be too much of a problem per se. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. 
Thank you for watching, please leave a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like, and hopefully I'll see you around next time. Bye.